Hello, my name is Greg Ritchie, and I'm a curriculum specialist with McGraw-Hill. As a former teacher, I know the importance of being able to access content that's especially online, being able to access that from home. So if you're a student, I wanna give you just a few tips here if you're not familiar with accessing Music Studio, which is the digital platform that holds the curriculum that you're using. In this case, I wanna show and focus on Spotlight on Music, which is the general music curriculum that McGraw-Hill has for grades pre-K all the way through grade eight. Now, I'm logged into my own account right now so I can actually see all of the grade levels. Whatever grade you, you are a part of, that's the grade that's going to show right here on my dashboard. And then I can click on that right there and it's going to take me to the very first lesson in that particular grade. All right, and I, or I can go right to the lesson right there. Now, another way to access all the lessons and all the content is up here in the main menu, and I can come down here to Spotlight on Music, and it takes me right here to the beginning or to one lesson. In this case, it's the first lesson that's part of grade pre-K, which is that's the youngest grade that's in my account. Let's look at a different grade, though, because I know a lot of you are probably not pre-K students that are gonna be watching this video. So let me just, let's go to grade four. So I go to grade four, and I click that in my first column. It's so easy. It's really so intuitive because I click that now and now I choose my section and then I'm going to choose my lesson. One thing you'll notice about the sections, if you're not familiar with this, the sections, there's four sections and that's how Spotlight on Music is really constructed and designed. Sections one and two, Spotlight on Concepts and Spotlight on Music Reading. That's where the core lessons are going to be that your teachers are using to teach music literacy, to things like skills and concepts of music, things like uh, rhythm or harmony or beat or meter or timbre or improv you know, improvisation, whatever it might be, where they're teaching you those skills that help you become musically literate. These are the units and lessons within sections one and two where those lessons are going to be found. All right. Section three, pretty self-explanatory, spotlight on performance. Here's some material where you're, going to, where you're going to find songs and dances and ideas and activities that you could, in theory, perform. So you can check these all out on your own as well. And then section four is Again, pretty self-explanatory, spotlight on celebrations. This is where you're gonna find your seasonal music, your holiday music, things that might pertain to something that you wanna use at a specific time of the year. So that's kind of cool how it's really constructed that way. When you go into a lesson, let me just pick a various lesson. This is the way the lesson is navigated. So take some time, just scroll through this, you'll see it. It's really, it's really cool. It's really clear too because it's composed of text and resources. So find some text, right? So here's the text, it says, you know, sing, Cedar Swamp. That's this section of this particular lesson. If I click it, there you go. It goes right to the top, or I come down here, there's Cotton Eye Joe, whatever it might be. All right, so here's Cedar Swamp, and that tells me a little bit about the, about the text. And then these resources are things I can click on. So I can click on Cedar Swamp, I can click Start, and now I can listen to the song, of course. And notice with these I songs, I can adjust the vocals while it's playing even, the instruments to a particular level, I can change the key, the tempo, I can change what it highlights, and I can go to a specific part of the song if I want to do that as well. So play around with that, enjoy your time, using Music Studio even from home. All right, so there's a resource. Here's another resource. Click on all these different, here's a little movement piece. Get together with your friends in the street. Maybe not social distancing of all the, all that stuff is certainly important. But check out all of the content that, that is in these lessons, all right? So that's the lesson. The other main thing I wanted to show you as a student is when, is when you come up here to menu, check out all resources. And when you look at all resources, you can first filter by the various grade, but then think of a library. Here are literally all the resources that are from all those lessons. A second ago, we were looking at one lesson. Imagine if you looked at all the lessons, you pulled out all of the resources, none of the text, and here they all are. There's 2,206 of them. So we put them into categories like, here's all the songs. I click songs and octavos, here's literally all the 173 songs from grade four. I can filter these, even as a student. This isn't something just the teacher can do, but as a student, I can come up here and go, oh, okay, show me all the ones that are rounds. Here's all the songs in grade four that are rounds, or show me all the ones that are in, that have something to do with Canada, whatever it might be, all right? So enjoy that as well as you go through and learn and use Music Studio. All right, I'm gonna go back to the home page really quick just to show you here. Here's some featured content right here. Um, one thing you have the ability to do, and I didn't say this, is you have the ability to favorite resources too. So when you're on your account, you can click that little gear and you can add something to your favorites and then it'll appear up here in your favorites and it'll also appear here 
in your featured content. Here's a little list of things we've already put in here. So you could go to virtual fretted instrument and you could go check out some virtual fretted string instruments and play these as you wish, all right? That's about two hours of fun right there, I'm just saying. All right, and then these are lesson resources. Nothing is really gonna popula populate there unless you, as a student, are part of a class and your teacher has put a lesson into her or his planner for the day and then those resources for that particular day that are part of that lesson will appear right here, all right? So for the most part, I bet 99% of you at this point might not have to worry about that, but regardless, that's why that content might exist and that's the purpose of it. So I hope that was helpful. Enjoy your experience working remotely, working from home, working and learning Music Studio and Spotlight on Music as you go forward. Thanks so much and all the best to you.